Hey guys, it's Bodie back with another Teespring tutorial for you. Oh, and my dog Hershey, who's sleeping on the couch here. You can barely see her because she's chocolate. How you going, Hersh? So yeah, me and Hershey back with another video for you guys. So today's video is going to be all about how you can set up a promo code for your um, followers. And it can be a discount code of like a dollar, dollar amount off or um, just a percentage off whatever you want to do, but I'll show you guys how to set this up and the power of setting that up. Uh, you can increase your sales a lot by having discount codes here and there. It's obviously something you don't want to do all the time, but there might be like some sort of public holiday or some sort of event or reason for you to give away a discount, or maybe you just want to drive sales to a certain type of shirt or something you've got going on. But uh, we'll dive into that now and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right guys, now we're on the computer. So thanks very much for watching. Please give the video a like for me and make sure you hit subscribe. Let's get into this. So this is quite easy to do. Here we are just in your dashboard of your Teespring store. Um, then we're just gonna go to promotions down here to the left. And what you can do is, they even have a little video here which is gonna tell you something similar, but I'm just gonna teach you a little bit of a different way. But um, you just come down to create new uh, promotion here. That's one that I did have on the other day. Um, so create new promotion here. And then you can either get it ram random like that. They'll give you random codes. Or you can set up your own. So let's just put it as, uh, let's go just with discount, not discounty. Um, so then you can go discount or you can go free shipping. Uh, that's for the US only. So if you're going to do free shipping, just make sure you have enough profit in, like let's say with shirts, you've only got $10 profit, but um, you you don't wanna be doing some, I, I just wouldn't do free shipping to be honest, just do a discount and then you can do an amount, which is probably a good way to go, but a percentage is also a good way to go. I'll tell you why. So a dollar is what we're gonna go, but let's say that you've done percentage and you've done 10%, this can be a good way to do it as well because if you're selling a lot of products, you might not be making much out of some of those products. Like a sticker, for instance, you might only make $5 profit out of a sticker. But, um, and, and what I'm getting at here is this, this code that you create, they can apply to anything on your store. So that's why you gotta be kind of careful with it. You don't wanna go giving away products for free or it won't sell if you're not going to make any profit at all, but um, yeah, you just want to be careful with that. So for this say, for this uh, video, we'll just go a dollar off, um, and then you can set an expiry. So this is a good way to market the shirt as well, because if you have an expiry and tell your uh, followers that you have an expiry, like let's say that they've got till the eighth, so you've got one week to you know get this discount of a dollar off. You can just say dollars off or discount off, you know, a dollar doesn't sound that impressive, but, and then you just go add discount code. So it's honestly as easy as that. And then it'll come up with status on and off so you can switch it on or off. And then, so we've got our discount turned on there. And so let's just copy this code. So we'll copy that. We're turned on for $1 here. So then we'll just go to storefronts, go to your storefront and we're just gonna go view store. So this is just gonna show your store ID. So then what you're gonna do is just go question mark, PR equals, and then paste that and hit enter. So what that will do is when you click on something, congratulations, you'll be receiving $1.75 off your purchase discount reflected at checkout. So that's what that does. The question mark PR equals is going to apply that discount code there. So what we want to do is if we just go back and then we copy this whole thing. So we're going to copy that. And then let's say that we have a URL shortener, which is like something like bit.ly. So bit.ly URL shortener, and then we'll just go shorten the link and just paste it in here. Shorten, 
and then we just copy that. And then now when you go to a paste this in social media, so let's say on your Instagram page, etc., you'll just paste this tab, uh, this code, sorry. And it's a, just, an, the reason you use URL shorteners is just because it shortens it up and it looks a bit more professional than one of those huge, you know, instead of having this huge thing along there, you can just have a short one like this. And then as you'll see here, when I hit enter, it'll take me to that exact page again. And the discount code is already applied. So whichever of your followers clicks through that and then goes to buy a shirt, they will automatically have that discount code applied. So it's just that easy guys. Um, as I said, these can come in handy for driving traffic for special events. You know, it might be like, I don't, I don't know, like Super Bowl Sunday or something and you have a Super Bowl shirt that you're selling or something like that. And then you have a discount code for that day or it's a long weekend, long weekend sale, things like that. So everyone loves a sale. And if people are already interested in your shirts, it's a great excuse for them to buy a shirt off you. So yeah, I hope that uh, helps you guys out. That's how you apply your discount. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please give this video a like for me. Make sure you comment down below if you have any questions and make sure you hit subscribe.